Hello, welcome back. The topic today is, do we need to give blood transfusion for anemia? So if we all know what is anemia, what is the normal value of hemoglobin. It is always for men more than 13 and women it's always more than 12. Anything more than uh, less than 11 grams of hemoglobin is considered as anemia. But for all anemia, do we need to give blood transfusion? No. If uh, the, uh, the, uh, we have to look for what is the root cause for the anemia. It could be iron deficiency, vitamin B12 deficiency, folic acid deficiency, or anything nutritional deficiency, or sometimes blood loss, like piles. Suppose they have a bleeding hemorrhoids, piles, so they can uh, uh, bleed heavily or daily. So if the hemoglobin goes below certain level, if uh, uh, pr uh, exactly we can say anything below 8 and 7 grams of hemoglobin needs blood transfusion. So the blood transfusion could be, uh, you know, uh, why we need blood transfusion. That is very important because if we don't have that much of hemoglobin or the blood volume, then uh, the vital organs cannot get the oxygen and nutrients uh, that is it's carried by the blood. So we need blood to carry the nutrients, uh, you know, oxygen and uh, the vitamins and other uh, digestive things to go to the end organ. So uh, anything below 8 grams compromises this uh, supply chain. So uh, some people, you know, uh, uh, would have had an accident. They will be losing blood and their BP will be dropping. So they need blood transfusion immediately if, it, if the hemoglobin is less than 8. The same way, hemorrhoids, spikes, the bleeding and BP is falling or, uh, you know, uh, then they need immediate blood transfusion. Or even for a chronic anemia, nutritional anemia, and suppose we do a blood test and the hemoglobin is less than 8 and they have a palpitation, tiredness, they feel sleepy, lethargy, you know, uh, the, uh, the heart rate, the pounding heart rate, you know, uh, all these things, you know, if the blood uh, uh, hemoglobin is less than 8 grams, then or falling BP, the blood pressure if it falls, then they need blood transfusion. Uh, usually one unit of blood transfusion can increase the hemoglobin by one to two grams generally and uh, they may need one or two uh, um, uh, units of blood and moreover when we, we say blood transfusion it need not be the whole blood it could be PRBC that is a concentrated red blood cells uh, 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 mostly nowadays the blood once we donate blood it cannot be just like that given it is it goes through you know a lot of uh, investigations and tests to you know the, to uh, see the safety of the blood. Once it is safe, usually it's divided, it is separated into four uh, parts like PRBC, the concentrated red cells, then uh, um, platelets, fresh frozen plasma and cryo. These kind of, you know, so it's useful for four people and people with anemia and it goes to below 8 grams or after the surgery, people have a blood loss and the hemoglobin is going below 9, 8 and BP is falling. You know, these people need blood transfusion. The more blood we lose after the surgery, they keep you know, replacing it with blood transfusion. And one unit can rise one to two grams of hemoglobin. And if you have anemia and your hemoglobin is less than eight, seven, and you have a low BP, you know, palpitation, tiredness, all these things, consult your doctor. Probably he may advise blood transfusion. And probably the blood transfusion will be given only in a hospital setup. And once the hemoglobin crosses more than 10, you have to take treatment to raise it above 12. We need, after that, the treatment for the anemia, uh, the doctor will, uh, will prescribe you what to eat, what to, you know, the supplements to take and all. So if you have anemia and the hemoglobin is less than 8, 7, probably you may require blood transfusion. Thank you.